Hello and welcome to a new video. This lesson will conclude the Muscarine Islands topic. So let's get started. In the previous lesson, we talked about the Dutch sailing to the Indian Ocean for spice trade. You also listened to the story of Van Warwick, a Dutch sailor, and how he accidentally discovered our island. Afterwards, you took note of the activities of the Dutch when they first landed on our island. Lastly, you came to know about the reason for which a monument was built at Ferney. At the end of this lesson, you will know the difference between the terms flora and fauna. You will be able to explain the terms extinct and endemic. I will tell you about two endemic birds which were found in Mauritius long ago and which unfortunately are extinct now. You will also know the reasons for which the Dutch used Mauritius as a stopover. And finally, you will be able to tell a short story on Peter Booth. This picture found in your school textbook shows Mauritius as it is in the 21st century. But just close your eyes and try to imagine how Mauritius looked in the 16th century when the Dutch first discovered it. The picture you visualized in your mind probably looked similar to this one. Yes, Mauritius was a beautiful island covered with dense forest and full of different kinds of endemic animals. Back then, when the Dutch discovered it in the 16th century. So yes, Mauritius had a rich flora and fauna. Now, what do these words mean? Well, flora refers to the plants of a particular place. For example, all the plants found in Mauritius form part of the flora of the island, while fauna refers to the animals of a particular place. For instance, all the animals found in Rodrigues form part of the fauna of Rodrigues Island. Some of the animals and plants found in a particular country may be classified as being endemic plants or endemic animals. So what does the term endemic refers to? It simply refers to a plant or an animal which can be found in one place only and nowhere else. In this case, an example might be the kangaroo, which is an endemic animal to Australia, meaning that the animal can be seen only in Australia. Now, if you see a kangaroo in another country except Australia, it means that the kangaroo was in Australia at first, before being moved to another country. Just like the ebony tree is an endemic plant to Mauritius, which means that you cannot find an ebony tree in another country except Mauritius. It may happen that a plant or an animal ceases to exist. We refer to them as extinct plants and animals. For example, the dodo bird no longer exists, so it is an extinct animal. Hence, from what we've learned, we can say that the dodo is an endemic animal to Mauritius, which eventually went to become extinct. The dodo was a harmless, fat, and heavy endemic bird found in Mauritius, which was unable to fly, killed for food by the Dutch, to eventually become extinct. These facts from your school textbook are proof that the dodo bird 
truly existed on our island. Another example of an endemic animal to Mauritius is the red rail. The Dutch reserved the same fate to the red rail, also known as the Mauritius red hen, which was a harmless endemic bird unable to fly due to its small wings and ended up being trapped and killed for food to finally become extinct. The Dutch continued to use our island as a stopover during their numerous voyages from Holland to the East Indies and back, not only for the delicious flesh of the dodo and the red rail, but also for the following reasons. As you have rightly guessed, the term stopover refers to a place where a person can stop during his voyage, rest and have the opportunity to replenish his stock of food and water for the rest of his journey. Peter Bove, who was a Dutch sailor, also stopped at our island. He was also a Dutch governor of the East Indies. He stopped near Mauritius on his way to Holland. He anchored his ship in the Tamarine Bay. Unfortunately, a cyclone took him by surprise. He died in a shipwreck along with many Dutch sailors. Today, a mountain found in the Portly Smoka Range is named after him. That's it, we hereby conclude the topic on the Mascarene Islands. You can now tell the difference between the terms flora and fauna. You can also distinguish between the terms extinct and endemic. You know about the two birds that we talked about earlier, that is the dodo and the red rail. You know why the Dutch used the island as a stopover. And lastly, you can tell the story of Peter Booth. I hope this video is meaningful to you and I thank you once again for your attention.